All right, guys, today we're going to do a 4th of July special talking about knives that make you feel free. Now, hopefully you enjoy the silly title, but ultimately these are kind of just knives that are either American made or just really awesome examples of some of the cool, um, I don't want to say privileges per se, but some of the cool things that we get to own living in America and not having to abide by silly knife laws. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first off, the one that I want to talk about is the Strider Knives SNG. Now, the reason why this one's on the list is because Strider is well known in the military community and has been used by countless military members in operations. And I think that that kind of buys it some credence for freedom because, of course, soldiers do help keep America free. So the Strider SNG is a great example of a real, like, serious military knife and while this one isn't necessarily the prime example for necessarily prying things open it definitely has a lot of great lineage and you probably could still put a good amount of hard use on that knife okay the next one up is going to be the abw or american blade works model one of course this is one of their newer versions that has the heavily worn clift blade and is in magna cut very nice knife and of course a very very sweet action for flipping but the reason why the abw is on the list is because this one and another company we're going to talk about in just a little bit are really really american build focused so everything sourced on this knife from the handle materials blade materials and of course all the manufacturing of it is either done in the u.s or sourced in the u.s so everything on this knife is very prioritized to being american manufactured and of course we're talking about freedom of America. It's just a little bit important. All right, next one up is going to be Chris Reeve Knives. And the reason why Chris Reeve Knives is on this list is because Chris Reeve Knives is, of course, one of the like more fundamental um, makers of EDC blades, has pioneered essentially really making or bringing EDC knives or high quality everyday carry knives to, the, to bear, of course, with things like the Sebenza um, and the Sebenza 21, of course, having a long line heritage of making really great, you know, like folding knives for everyday carry. So with that being said, of course, these are all made in the US and made very, very well. And so, of course, you have to throw them on the list because they are an American company, but also they pretty much are the ones that started the whole game. Of course, there were other knife companies out there, but with things like the Reeve Integral Lock and such, they are really they made strides for the community i should say all right next one up is going to be a bow song now in this particular case this is the mantis knives fly switch but i wanted to throw bow songs on here because once again there are many as i fail to open and close this but there are many um you know knife or there are many countries especially over in europe that are not as generous when it comes to knife laws they don't allow you to have locking blades they don't allow you to have blades over certain inches long and of course unfortunately here in the u.s there are some states that do subscribe to those mantras so unfortunately not every state is as free as the other but in america as far as laws go there are no like federal laws on the books for knives so it is totally possible for you to have one of these so long as you're not in one of those crummy states that suck so this is on there for that reason because we do have some pretty cool or pretty lenient laws as a whole all right next one up is going to be the trm Adam. Now, the TRM Adam is one of the, my many TRMs in the collection, and this one will probably actually be gone or already given away by the time you see this video, but I figured I'd throw it in here for the fun of it. But TRM, like ABW, is another company that makes knives in America out of all American um, materials or all sourced American materials, and of course, they manufacture in the U.S. as well. So they're another company that's very proud to be us made and i think that's pretty cool and worth talking about once again not everyone feels the same but it is pretty cool especially when you're doing a video about america or america's independence it's nice to see independently Amer american manufactured things 
All right, last one up is going to be the Heretic Knives Manticore X. And this one, of course, is the Bounty Hunter version, as you've seen many times. Still absolutely love this thing. It is very cool to look at, very cool to play with. But once again, this, very similar to the Balasong, is a type of knife that outside of the U.S. you pretty much would not be allowed to own unless you are military, government of some form. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at some knives that are freedom inducing. That's kind of what I'm going off of on this one, because like I said, I think they're just very cool knives um, that really are pretty unique to America as a whole. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I realize not everyone can own, you know, an OTF, a Balasong. Some unfortunate states are not quite as free, but I do like to do these videos, one, to talk about like some of the cool knives that I get to own living where I live, but also two, to spread that kind of message that you know a lot of these knife laws are very overbearing and unnecessary you know this knife isn't necessarily any un or more unsafe for the community at large as i've said in other videos you know a lot of these knives that are restricted tend to be more dangerous for the actual user than they are for the general public at at large so anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you have a good fourth of july stay safe and most importantly you remember what makes America great. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.